on the way down screaming Google finally released Gboard for Android since Gboard has been out for a while now for iOS. Gboard is a mix between Google Search and a keyboard and it has some helpful features. First I will show you how to download it. You just go into the Play Store and type in Gboard or Google P Keyboard and it will be the first thing to show up. You just click on it and yeah, press on install or in my case update since I already got it installed. When that's done and keyboard is set as your default keyboard, you can use the new search function. To do this you just click on the Google logo on the left side and then type in what you want to search. You can share many different things such as locations, YouTube videos and GIFs and it works like a normal Google search and it will give you recommendations after you type in your first word and your second word and so on. So it's really easy to use and also very useful because now you don't need to switch between, between apps just because you needed to Google something. You can just do it within Gboard. Here's an example how it looked on my smartphone when I searched something and yeah I just tested something just searching for the time or a YouTube video and it worked really well and I quite liked it. You can also search for emojis or GIFs directly in Gboard. It also supports the glide typing feature so you can write quicker. And it has some nice customization options. As you can see, you can choose different background colors for your keyboard. But if you want, you can also set your own background from pictures of your gallery. And you can even adjust the brightness of these pictures. Um, so you can decide how much of the keyboard you want to see or how much of the picture uh, so how bright the picture is. I kind of like this because it gives um, your keyboard um, a personal touch in my opinion and that's quite nice to have. Of course Google is not the first to have this but still it's a nice feature um, with all the things like glide type GIFs and the new Google search within the keyboard which is very nice. So far I really like the new update for Gboard and yeah it's really something to save you some time even if it's not much but it's kind of annoying if you need to switch between Google and, and another app just because you wanted to look something up and send it to your friend. This with this way you can just search it, find it and quickly send it which yeah as I said makes things a lot easier. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think about Gboard in the comments. Have you used it so far? Will you use it? Um, maybe on iOS and already used it quite a while and yeah let me know what you think about it and as always I hope you enjoyed watching and if so maybe even you like that would be nice and yeah see you next time guys bye